Welcome to StockMarketFunding.com. We're going to be covering a weekly chart and a monthly chart here on CME. Then we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming options expiration between September 13th and 17th on how to play it. We're also going to be, after we do the analysis, going to be looking at the 260 put, which is very cheap. We'll do that in a secondary video. We're going to take a look at the 260 call as well for September options expiration. However, what we're going to do is start doing the analysis. We are going to take a look at all of the strike prices going out. They report earnings on October 28th, and we're going to take a look at the expiration of 918, then the, then the October expiration in here. And we're going to find out the deflated, the inflated. We're going to find out where the monthly and the weekly trend is. And that will be in the next video. Right now, I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to do the actual weekly chart first. We hit those lows three weeks back at price action where it was made at 238. We've come up. But the bearish part of all of this, SMF Street, the bearish part is that when we crossed over we had a declining we had a crossover that 10 week moving averages over the 50 week and as it separated and the more separated they got the weaker of that trend was until we made the bottom we have finally flattened out but CME is in a bear trend one week two weeks three weeks four weeks below it and now they're trying to re-leverage off the bottom the 10 week is flattening out the 100 week has crossed over these other minute or weekly moving averages. Let me kind of clear the chart and show it where it's very visible. Where it's very visible at is when the 100 week had crossed over here back in 2010. That meant, once again, I'm really going to iterate this to you, SMF Street Traders. When you've got weekly moving averages of such crossing over, yeah, you get counter trends, but why do they go a lot lower? Because our platform, as you are aware of, SMF Street, says that that trend is going to fall and make lower lows. It does it every time. And you've witnessed it, and you've seen why. Basically, off of these lows, We've got a 100-week moving average resistance here and a 20-week, but all of these crossovers, look at, you got the 100-week traveling below the 20, the 20 cross, uh, crosses below there, and you guys already know what all of this means. So I'm going to go to the monthly chart. I am going to say that we're at 25.70, which is more bullish. We got down to 6.90, where we were telling people that's one of the cheapest percent DSs I've ever seen in the history and that that was a buy. However, now that we've done that, we've gone from 6.90 to 25.7. And the SMF Street Mathematical Moving Average Direct Access Trading Platform, it also equates into relative strength, rather that's strong momentum, rather that's medium or weak. It always plays out the same, and it's always the same. 100 week moving average is at 275.79. That's a resistance le uh, level, which is roughly on CME, closes at 264.25. CME has ran well over $30 off of these lows that we talked about right here in that three-week counter trend. And just as it has other three-week counter trends, they roll over. So basically, we're not as nearly as oversold. This was the buy. As we told everyone, SMF Street, you were there. Now, moving on to the monthly chart, SMF Street traders, is, is that the monthly charts are going to uh, look like this. So, let's get down to the brass tack right here, SMF Street. Here it is right there. What is the bear and the bull? I've got a 34.35. I've, de I've got a declining as this monthly bar is a September bar I'm going to draw and blow up the chart for you and we're gonna zoom right in here and we're gonna take tell you something right now that that 10 month just like a weekly is declining in value that means that this uptrend that wherever we end in September will be sold short at resistance just like when we had a three month counter trend here when that 20 week that's that red line crossed over here in the beginning of the year as I said 
the counter trend would fail and we went much lower the gift of understanding the power of monthly and weekly and daily and minute period movement averages and their mathematical sequences is always going to put you on the right side if I'm long and I'm short and where they're going to fail and why they make lower lows. As you know that that 10 month moving average right now is at 295.99. It's dropped off of 302.3. That means it's descending in value that upper end of these 10 and 20 as they keep going when I cross over that red one that 20 month moving average that means that the counter trend will fail and we will go lower now in the next tape I'm going to be doing as you know and let's not forget one other thing that the declining mathematical MACD SMF has a mathematical equation in our direct access trading platform take your free five-day trial if you can't comprehend it well then come and see it for five days the truth will show you during live market hours once again I will draw the trend line for the SMF Street trading staff everybody qualifies doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter what country you live in foreigners you qualify to be on SMF Street all you got to do is sign up and find out why you qualify and you can make a good living SMF Street open the doors to Main Street if I can't close half above that last August monthly bar and I stay at resistance and I'm declining there then that means I'm selling short into the upper move and we're going to take a look at the options expiration in the next video.